We are now ready to program and machine our second operation. From our Darmo part print, you will see that we have four defined holes with center locations. We would also like to add a fifth hole at the center of the part as a pilot hole for our future pocket. Our tool for this operation is a half inch diameter spot drill. Let's begin by changing to our required tool for this operation. From the main menu, press T, followed by six and press cycle start. The axis should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete and press cycle start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. Select the drilling cycle key. You will notice that there are five levels of drilling. Using the level key, go to level four, the center punch level. X is the center of your first hole on X axis. Enter one inch. Y is the center of your first hole on Y axis. Enter minus one inch. ZS, this is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of a quarter of an inch. Z, this is the starting point on the Z axis. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. T is the dwell time at the bottom of the hole. In this case, it is zero. Press enter to continue. Use the half key to select one of two and press enter to continue. P is our total depth. In this case, it is 0.125. Press enter to continue. Use the half key to select if you want coolant off or coolant on during the machining process. In this case, we will be selecting coolant off Press enter to continue. F, this is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of six inches per minute. Press enter to continue. S, this is your spindle speed. In this example, we are using a value of 1600 RPMs. Press enter to continue. Use the half key to select if you want spindle to turn clockwise or counterclockwise. For this example, we will select clockwise. Press enter to continue. T is your tool number. In this example, we are using tool six. Press enter to continue. D is your tool offset number. In this example, we are using offset six. Press enter to continue. Now let's combine this drilling operation with random positioning to define our remaining hole locations. Press the random position key to continue. You will notice that it takes our feed rate, total depth, spindle speed, and tool information from our previous cycle. We just need to define the remainder of our center punch locations. The CNC automatically brings the first X1 and Y minus one from the previous cycle. Press enter to advance to the X2 field. X2 is the center of our second hole on X axis. Type five inches, press enter to continue. Y2 is the center of our second hole on Y axis. Type minus one inch, press enter to continue. X3 is the center of your third hole on X axis. Type in five inch, press enter to continue. Y3 is the center of your third hole on Y axis. Type in minus five inch, press enter to continue. X4 is the center of your fourth hole on X axis. Type in one inch, press enter to continue. Y4 is the center of your fourth hole on Y axis. Type in minus five inch, Press enter to continue. X5 is the center of your fifth hole on X axis. Type in three inch, press enter to continue. Y5 is the center of your fifth hole on Y axis. Type in minus three inch, press enter to continue. Let's run this in solid graphics so we confirm we have defined the cycle correctly. Select the graphics icon key. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. At this time, slowly turn up the feed rate to advance the program. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. The process should complete with no errors. Press the escape key to go back one menu. Continue and save the program at this time. Press the P program key. At this point, we should still be under the program we have created. If not, navigate back to the program. Once there, 
Press enter to insert the center punch cycle and random drilling operation into the program. To execute the cycle, press escape twice. You now see that there is a cycle start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press cycle start button to begin executing the cycle. You will need to increase the feed rate after pressing cycle start. If gear ranges are an option on your machine, you may be prompted to change to the correct gear. Change gear and press enter to continue. Slowly turn up the feed rate so execution can continue. To see additional information while the program is being executed, use the half key to toggle between basic and advanced screen.